Hey, and we are here today at darkroomimaging.com, the home for all your photography needs, especially film photography, one of the very few photography stores that still develops film. Uh, you can check them out on Google at darkroomimaging.com. Uh, here is some of the images from customers. We usually hang up one or two photos of uh, enlargements of our most loyal customers, uh, the ones that bring us business every day and keeps us in business. Uh, a lot of wedding photographers, landscape photographers, nature photographers. So if you need anything special with your print order and you want it done in a custom photography lab, Make sure to look up darkroomimaging.com. And today we are here for the Tada Nikon D5300. D5300 is a 24 megapixel DX format camera with X Speed 4 image processor. It also has a 3.2 inch dot variable angle LCD monitor. And the LCD monitor is much improved over the D3200 model. Uh, the D3200 model, I believe, is uh, roughly about 420 pixel. Or, well, it's more than that, excuse me. It's around, what, 700,000 pixel. But, point being, the 5300 is a massive improvement. Uh, I did not order the lens because I already have a lens for the Nikon D5300 and I can also transfer my lenses from that I ordered from the Nikon D3200 package onto the 5300. Now keep in mind, please keep your lens cap on your camera at all time, especially to avoid dust and moisture. If dust and moisture gets inside your DSLR camera, uh, it can be expensive to clean it up. And your camera basically never operates as good as it once did when you first took it out of the box. Uh, the Nikon D5300 can also take upwards of about, I believe, 500 images. That is keeping the LED display off. keeping the LCD display off um, and just using the viewfinder you should be able to get about 500 or more shots using that. Uh, it also depends on how much of course you use the flash on the camera. More times you use the flash the more battery juice that is used. So you'll want to avoid that. The reason I purchased the 5300 I couldn't get the 5500 from B&H Photo b &H Photo only offers the 5500 with a lens or two lenses and that package runs I believe around $700. Uh, all I wanted was the camera body because as I said I already have lenses using the D3200 model. With the D5300 model uh, just purchasing the body, it was uh, still about $600. Once again, no sales tax because of the business ownership. So keep that in mind if you go to B&H Photo and wonder why you're paying more than $600. Uh, you're paying sales tax. Uh, one improvement that I like over the D3200 is their autofocus system. Uh, their autofocus system has uh, is just tremendously great. Um, it offers a 39 point autofocus sensor, uh, something uh, that the 3200 model does not offer. Uh, the 3200 model only offers roughly about an 11 point autofocus system. So for landscape photography, macro photography, 
close-up work, portraiture, uh, astrophotography, the Nikon D5300 is your choice camera. Also keep in mind that the 5300, if you find that to be a little too expensive, um, you might want to opt and take a look at the Nikon D3400. D3400 is less expensive, uh, maybe by about $100. And you still get the 24 megapixel DX format sensor, and you still get the XSpeed 4 image processor with the Nikon D3400. If you want to purchase the D5300 with a lens, it's going to run you about $700. Without the lens, it is roughly about $100 less. And that's without sales tax wherever you may live. Um, the controls on the Nikon D5300, as you can see, some people might consider that um, a little outdated. The controls on the Nikon D5300, much simpler, much more user-friendly. And I do like how Nikon places their video record button right next to the exposure button. Sure, there's a lot of people that'll complain about that and don't like that feature. I do, because at nighttime, if you're going to take video, you do not have to fumble and turn on a red light to find that video record button. You always pretty much know it's right in the middle. Uh, great thing about the 5300 over the 3200 and much the same as the 5500. It comes with a swivel display and you can turn it all the way around if you're into taking pictures of yourself. Something I'm strongly against if that's what you're going to use a DSLR camera for. Um, keep in mind, the more you use the LCD display, the more battery power you are going to use up. So if you only have a single battery and not two batteries uh, or a spare battery or some form to recharge your battery, uh, you're going to want to keep that LCD display off as much as possible and use the viewfinder only. And that about sums it up for my Nikon D5300. Be sure to go to photographymacrocosm.com on Google Plus or photographygrotto.com on Google Plus uh, to take a look at my photographs. Uh, Google Plus is where I keep all my, publish all my images. Google Plus Photography Macrocosm. And this is Darkroom Imaging. Once again, if you have film or any photography print needs, always use a custom lab. And have a nice day.